three, two. This is MHS This Evening with Luis Romero. Daniel Pay. And Julian Barr. Good evening, Luis Romero. Greeting you. Martinsville High School students attended the 2016 Southern Virginia Career Choice Youth Expo earlier this month. The expo showcased existing job opportunities in the region, so students will have an opportunity to stay in the region. Now, here's the story. Learning about their health, driving a race car simulator, and becoming a money pro are just a few of the activities that students from across the region took part in. Early this month, the 2016 Southern Virginia Career Choice Youth Expo was held in the Old Dominion Agriculture Center in Chatham. It's really nice because if you have an interest in a job, I can tell you about it in the guidance office, but it's better if you talk to a person who's been doing it for a long time so you can ask specific questions. More than 4,000 7th grade and high school students attended the Career Expo from the cities of Danville and Martinsville and the counties of Halifax, Henry, Patrick, and Pennsylvania. WMH State followed the students from Martinsville High. According to its website, the event exposes students to hands-on activities with inspirational adults to ignite students' imaginations to unlimited career opportunities in Southern Virginia. So students have an option to stay in the region, career choice showcases existing job opportunities that are based on an informational career decision with a clear understanding of skills needed, education required, and expected salaries. The biggest thing that they're able to take away from the Career Expo usually is more hands-on knowledge, more knowledge of what education they need, and honestly, the motivation. Chatham, Luis Romero, WMHS 8. Do you want to see change in your class? Do you want to discuss issues concerning MHS? If so, be part of the SEA office and run for office to represent your class and your student with a GPA of 2.0 or higher with good morals and behavior may run for office to become part of the executive board or class office. The positions that are available are president, vice president, secretary, historian, representative, and alternative representative. If you're interested in representing your class, please see Ms. Hairston for details. The election will take place on November 7th. Nesby and AmeriCorps would like your support at their next scholarship fundraiser. That's the Men in Aprons, a dining experience. The fundraiser will take place October 28th at 6.30 p.m. at the New College Institute. That's a Baldwin Block location in the lecture hall. Admission for students is $5 and for adults is $10. For more information, please visit mhcnsbe.org. Sports from Martinsville High School. Good evening, I'm Daniel Pay here with the Trek Year Sports for Thursday. There will be girls, JV, and varsity volleyball matches against GW at the Martinsville Middle School, the JV game at 5.30 with the varsity game taking place at 7. And there will also be a JV football game against Tunstall here at the Martinsville High School at 6 o'clock. MHS this evening is made possible by the 4 Allison Foundation, honoring the life of Allison Parker by supporting the arts.